Well, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would uh, do the introduction of this one again myself, as I think um, now you know me, so you don't have to just see my hands. Today's tutorial is about this very nice velvety clutch. I saw this velvet uh, using all around YouTube, a lot of YouTubers doing crochet tutorials, they use velvet, so I thought maybe I can use as well on my channel. And you can see that I did this in red, but I did this in blue as well. So I did a lining in a red silky uh, lining. Also, I have used like a reinforcement, plastic reinforcement inside. So I did this in blue as well. The inside color, I matched the lining with the outer part and it looks very nice. This is very useful. You can use it as a wallet, but you can use it as a clutch as well. It takes in the phone, your keys, some money in. So yeah, it's very practical and be creative you can use different kind of accessories another thing that is going on in my channel in this tutorial is also a very small giveaway so if you want to do this clutch and you don't have the material you don't have the yarn well you can win one so I thought maybe in this tutorial I am going to do a small giveaway you can be the winner write down a comment in the comment section down below and you can be the winner of one skin of velvet yarn the same one that I used for this clutch as I mentioned Instagram and Facebook a lot I encourage you to follow me over there as well if you uh, are not doing so yet because there I do a lot of updates that maybe I don't do here on my YouTube channel and check my Etsy shop for mochila and tapestry crochet patterns and without further ado let's just get into it <laughs> For this project I'm going to use velvety yarn and actually I got them online. It's 210 uh, meters long and it's 100 gram. It recommends here like 3.5 to 4 mm hook but actually I'm working with a 3 mm hook. I feel better with this one. I will uh, drop the link in the description box if you want to get this yarn but you can get any other brand have this yarn as well. First we are going to start with a slip knot. and I will work not very tight chain stitch. I will do 35 chain stitches. One, two, three, and 35. So once I do the chain stitch, and I was playing around with the alpine stitch and then I came up with this one. And now I'm going to do just a simple double crochet, the whole row. I will insert at the third one. So I'm going to do one uh, double crochet. I'm just working with a double crochet. So this one is one double crochet for me as well and this is the second double crochet. So now I'm going to work with a double crochet until the end. So I had in total I had 35 uh, chain stitches and three I used for, for the first double crochet here. So at the end I will have about 34 double crochet stitches, okay, including uh, this uh, chain stitch here that I have. Just keep working with a double crochet until the end. have 34 double crochet stitches and I will do one chain stitch turn around and I'm and now I'm going to do a single crochet on each stitch so I will insert the hook right at the first stitch so on the way back I'm gonna have 34 single crochet stitches you're gonna do all the single crochets and don't forget to catch the last one otherwise you will have like a small bag on this side you have to catch uh, at the end and do a single crochet right here at the edge then you're gonna have to do three chain stitches one two and three and turn your work around like this so this chain stitch here actually corresponds to this first chain stitch here okay so I already have one ready and then the second one I'm gonna do one double crochet. I will not insert the hook at the first hole that I have here but at the second one okay so this is the second double crochet that I'm gonna do this is where I'm gonna do it because this corresponds already to the first one if we do one here it's gonna be too crowded I'm gonna do this kind of movement I will uh, yarn under where is the third uh, double crochet that we had in the first row so I'm gonna just go under then I'm gonna yarn under pull through and I'm gonna have three loops and then I'm just gonna close the first two loops and then the last two loops like a normal double crochet okay so the second one I'm just gonna do the same thing so yarn under and get the next double crochet which is this one and just go underneath like this you see the back 
and then yarn under and pull through. And then I have three loops here, so I'm just gonna close these three loops like a normal double crochet. So the first two ones are just normal double crochet, the second two ones are front post double crochet. So I will continue to do this pattern until the end. Two double crochets and two front post double crochets until you reach the end of the row. Okay, so this is the last one and I will grab right here at the edge because I don't want any loose edges, I want straight, straight edges. This is how it is going to look like. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pairs with a normal double crochet and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight with pairs of front post double crochet. If you came up, come up with one more or one less at the end, it's not the end of the world, okay? It still will look beautiful. So this is going to be the front and this is going to be the back. For the back, we are just going to do one chain stitch, turn around and then work one single crochet until the end of the row. Okay, finished the back the single crochet row okay and then we do three chain stitches one two and three so we turn around and for the next one these three chain stitches correspond to these th uh, three chain stitches right so now the pattern is going to be like this for the next uh, two stitches i'm gonna do front post double crochet so I'm gonna grab now these double crochets that I did here. So I'm gonna grab here or here or here or here, right? I'm not grabbing here anymore. I'm gonna grab here. So I'm gonna yarn under and for the next two stitches I'm gonna go underneath. So the next one is this one. I'm gonna go underneath. Just be careful that you don't grab partially. It partially so the next one I'm gonna grab underneath and do a double crochet then this the third one again I will grab this one and double crochet this is how it is going to look like for the next two stitches I'm just gonna do a normal double crochet so this one I will insert here corresponds to this front post double crochet that we did here but this in this case I'm just going to do one simple du double crochet the next one again one double crochet these two double crochets here corresponds first one to this and the second one corresponds to this one next I am going to do two front post double crochet stitches so we are under and this one here I will grab underneath and double crochet and another one but I'm gonna grab this one now so as if you see I have switched a little bit on the right so what I'm gonna do next is just keep working the pattern two normal double crochet stitches and then two front post double crochet stitches until the end of the row Okay, so I'm just shifting a little bit. If you can see, these are two and then the two others are shifting one stitch on the right. So it's going to look like this. Okay, so once you did the last set of grabbing underneath the double crochet, then you arrive here and then at the end you have one, two, three stitches left, right? Which means that two you will do like normal double crochet and this one, if you continue the pattern, you have to do it grabbing underneath. But I, I, I don't do that because it will look not that nice. So for the last three stitches, I'm just gonna do a normal a double crochet, I will just grab on top.
So this is the pattern for row number five. Remember that back rows are always single crochets and front rows are like what is really the pattern going. So once we do that, we are going to do again the back, which is one single crochet until the end of the row. So here is the end of the row with a single crochet. Then I'm gonna just do one chain stitch, turn my work on the front. We do another two, so together with the first one, three chain stitches, okay? And then we turn around. So this chain stitch corresponds to the first one. The second stitch will be one front post double crochet stitch. I will grab underneath this one. And then uh, the next one, I'm gonna do one double crochet grabbing on top where, where I have the single crochet on the back, okay? I'm not grabbing underneath it anymore. So the pattern that I'm gonna follow is this one. One front post double crochet and one normal double crochet. So just keep alternating this pattern until the end of this row. Don't know if you can see. So now I'm going one down, one up, one down, one up, one down, one up, and so on. So this is the end of one, I can say one mm, vein, let's say like that. This is the beginning of the next one. So I'm going to continue, I, this one is going to repeat it up here again. Uh, I don't know if you understand the concept. Okay, so I came right near to the end. So I did one normal one underneath and then I'm left with two stitches up here. I'm gonna do both of them uh, normal double crochet stitches because as I told you, I don't like to have these um, loose stitches all around, okay? So at the end, maybe you will end up like this. This is a full pattern actually, because now to the next row, we just continue working the same as we did here. So on the back, we just do a normal double uh, single crochet, so one chain, turn around and then single crochet all the way uh, until the end. Okay, so once finished the whole uh, single crochet row in the back, I will do one chain and I will turn my work on the other side. So this is a full pattern. So once I will start to work now the next row, I'm just going to repeat the first row of this pattern. As you can see, this is the end of one vein. It will finish up on top here and next to it is the beginning of the next one. And this is actually the beginning of a new one, which will be the same as this one. So I will leave the written pattern on the description box down below. On top of this, so the next row, you just start the pattern from row number one and then you have the same pattern over and over again as many times as you want it to be repeated. Remember that the back is always one single crochet, so the back pattern is always the same. The pattern that I'm going to leave for you is always for the front one. So this is how the pattern looks like repeated two times, okay? So you just keep repeating that as long as you need the clutch to be, the bag to be. In my case, I will keep working seven and a half patterns, which means that I will have this pattern repeated seven times and then I will just leave it at this row over here and I'm not gonna do the row where I start the new one. Okay guys, so here it is. I finished the whole eight patterns, as I told you, so I can show you. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But at the eighth one, I didn't do the last row. I'm fine with this size. So let me first show you of measurements. So this one is 35 cm long and then 21 cm high. Once I did the last row, I will have one chain stitch. Now I'm gonna go all around with just one single crochet. On this side where I have double crochet, I will try to do one double crochet, one single crochet in the middle and one single crochet where I have the joint of these two rows. Ok, 
Okay, so once I arrive here at the end, I will do one uh, single crochet on this side, I will do one more like in the center, and then I will do one on the top. And I turned around, so I will just continue doing the single crochet stitch all in the other side now. I finished all around with a single crochet. And I'm going to hide Okay, so with one skin, actually I have some left, like this, but not that much. First will be 36 and a half cm long, like this, uh, 21 cm high. Now for the back, this is the back, I have cut a piece of uh, plastic. This is actually a placemat. Uh, made of uh, like plastic, but you can use any kind of material that is a little bit strong. I cut this one in smaller size, smaller than the uh, crochet part. So let me give you some measurements for this part. 31 cm and 19 cm. First I'm going to do the lining from inside. The lining I'm going to do with this kind of uh, fabric. It's like uh, silk in blue color. I will drop the link in the description box. So the shiny part I need from outside. So I will put it this way. So the upper part is not the shiny part. And I'm gonna put the uh, plastic part. So I cut uh, quite two and a half cm bigger okay, than the plastic part. And I'm just going to use the a glue, a normal white glue, to glue first, and then I'm going to sew. Okay, so it's all dry and it's looking like this and now I am going to sew it. So this is the pattern side and this is the back side. All this will have to go in and then I'm going to position. So of course I have some edges going out and then I'm gonna sew with a small needle and the same color. Okay, so once we have secured and fixed all the lining from inside, now I am going to fold. And I have to find the right folding. Oh, like this. So, let me secure first. This is just to keep the work safe. Then I'm just going to sew like a very simple end easy one, not any fancy sewing. On my way back. I will do the same on the other side. Okay, so here is how it is going to look like. Let me give you some measurements. So from here to this side there are 16 cm. So the rest I fold it. And then I'm gonna do it like this. And I will press a little bit uh, because this is the shape that I want it to be. You can just leave it uh, at that. I want to put some other decorations which include again some crocheting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will find the middle one which is this one I think. 
not to the first row but to the second one and I will grab in the middle these two and I will just crochet a very long string let's say I will just do chain stitches nothing of anything nothing fancy or anything this one I'm gonna use it later and I will just crochet I crocheted it this much because I want to fold it over uh, two times as I told you this side I need to use for some accessories that I want to put here but you can do any kind of decoration you want I'm going to use these two metal decorations I need to fix them with this other part of the yarn Okay guys, so this is my tutorial for uh, today and I hope you like this tutorial. Write in the comments below what do you want to see more uh, in my channel. So give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends so like this you can help me grow my channel and I will see you on my next one. Well hi guys! Nah. I... Wow. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't do my eyes like that.